All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels, and uh, why'd you guys do this to me? Why? Why, 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 why? Why are we playing with some booty ass decks on daily duels? Like, I'm not sure if you guys are just trolling or what, but god damn, like, this is gonna be an interesting daily duels this, this month, I must say, because holy crap. Uh, today's Monday, we're using Nordics, and you're still looking at Nordics, and you're like, Nordics? Like, it doesn't look like Nordics. Like, this looks like freaking, uh, uh, PK Fire, like, it's not PK Fire, uh, uh, I was trying to research, like, uh, like, uh, some Nordic plays to, uh, hopefully, uh, figure something out, I was like, uh, I don't know, and then someone came up with a Nordic, uh, PK Fire deck, and I was like, you know what, that looks interesting, let me go ahead and try it out, so, of course, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due, so, uh, link in the description to the original video, uh, I probably should've just summoned Boots, actually, that was kinda dumb to still, still special summon him. Because that, that was kind of dumb. That was a misplay. Go ahead and detach. No three. And uh, we'll try this out, really. Oh, never mind. I got boots anyway. <laughs> I got boots anyway. So we'll go ahead and do the boots. Go ahead and get me, I guess, a flog blade. And we're going to be using the shit out of these traps to pretty much revive my level three. And then use the Nordic uh, monster. Which one is it? Uh, the level four beast one to make Thor. And that's pretty much all you can do. I've tried. I've tried. Like, you guys have literally given me, like, the bare minimum shit. Like, holy crap. I wish you guys would have actually, like... I'm not sure if you guys are trolling or what, but I, I want to provide you guys with entertainment, and instead you guys provide me with shit. And it's going to be, like, really, like, Nordics. Really? Like, do you not see the shit that's being played nowadays? Like, I, I, this is actually, like, I think my third recording. My second recording is just terrible because I got my ass beat. I went up against, like... Pepe fucking, uh, well not Pepe, but Performer Pal Heroes got my ass beat. I went up against Cosmos, got my ass beat. I got it went against Dark Magician, got my ass beat. Went against Blue Eyes, got my ass beat. And, uh, you know, I, I made two decks. I made this version of the deck, and I was like, alright, this is more competitive version. It's not as, uh, of course, um, Nordic-y, and I was, kind of, I was kind of debating on whether I wanted to go with this or not, because it's not as Nordic-y, and you guys said Nordics, but, you know, it's PK Nordics, and it has a lot more PK than Nordics, but at least it's more competitive, at least I can fight and have a uh, fight and have a, a chance at winning, while the other Nordic deck, I mean, it's pure Nordics, but I was just getting destroyed, like, over and over again, so I did not upload that video, I was like, let's screw it, we'll just go with PK Nordics and fuck it, you know, uh, like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with this, but I said fuck it, because I'm clearly not having a good time. <laughs> So, uh, we're just gonna PK it up, and hopefully, I, I mean, even if I just bust out one Thor in, in the duel, I'd be happy. You know, I'll be happy. So, uh, once again, we'll go ahead and activate the effect, mill three. You know, I allowed you to even out the most, and, you know, I'm trying to run pretty much every single card that will make sure that I get my, uh, my Nordic plays. Uh, I'm running my revival spell, I'm running my spit, but if I don't draw into it, I mean, there's not much I can do, you know? So, uh, I'm still trying to tweak it, work on it. And of course, you know, fucking Phantom Knights are fully awesome pieces of work. Like, they, they, they are just a spectacle to behold because of how fucking floaty and good and their trap cards and everything is just so great in this fucking deck. Like, I don't even know what to say at times when I see this fucking deck. Let's go ahead and go into Break Sword and then uh, start popping some of that back row. Yeah. And Break Sword, Detach, just. So good, so good. Like I, I can definitely see why this deck is either top tier or one of the best decks. Uh, this format because it's just so fucking great, you know. There's that skill drain, which I guess is fine. I'm more of a floaty deck anyway. Like I could probably play skill drain. Like the only thing that really hurts is just me being uh, my Dante's and shit having attack. But besides that, like I'm fine. But I wanted to talk about my Utah trip, but, you know, I'm just so focused on this. I, with my previous recording, I didn't even talk about my Utah trip because I'm just so focused on fucking dueling now. So is there any point in even turning Dante to talk about it? I mean, I guess there'd be more damage in, but, you know. Uh, so what do I have in here? Go ahead and activate you and then I have burial so that's three right there so that's fine I was just trying to get three before I activate burial from a different dimension put them back go ahead and give them my boots so I can go ahead and go into a play next turn like we're just gonna I guess we're just gonna go ahead and play like super caveman Yu-Gi-Oh right now so 
that, that gets the point, that gets to mill and get everything in the deck as much as possible. Oh, it's Yang Zing. Okay, so. I say, is there a reason? I guess maybe you didn't want that effect or something? But I didn't do anything to you. Alright, he's just gonna go ahead and scoop it up, so. No Nordic plays, but then, I mean, PK is PK, right? Get another duel bear back. Alright, another duel. So, I just don't know. I like, I want to get him. Like, he, he's important. If I get him, then I can start owning the plays. But I need the PK plays as well. This, this hand's probably like one of the worst hands that I've gotten yet. Like, holy crap, this hand is like, ugh, it's not great at all. We'll go ahead and set you, and I need to get rid of a monster. So, I, I can set you and then have you in the graveyard, but I didn't get any PK play. If I, I might be able to summon out Thor, but I, just, I didn't get any PK plays. Like, holy crap. Like, where's my fan tonight? I need to make that first turn Dante, boys. <laughs> Mill a whole bunch. Get them all in the graveyard, summon back them level 3 to the trap card. It's just like, Nordic, Nordics. And it was a top deck. Nordics? Like, really? Nordics? Like, oh, thank you guys. Fucking Nordics. So is this man actually going to bust out the fucking power? Okay, I thought he was going to bust out the fucking the super ch duper chocolate fudge covered blue eyes. Like, it's, if that's what all you're going to do right now, then I'm totally fine with that for right now. So I, I, I don't, it seems like I'll be able to, do, to actually summon Thor. So, what does it say? This attack position monster is changed. I think it's this defense position monster is changed to attack. I get my effect. Yeah. I almost fucked up. I almost summoned an attack. But like, no, defense to attack. Summon for my deck. So. So then that would be great. Alright, I forgot you can attack multiple times. I forgot you get to attack twice. Uh, I should go ahead and activate this and then actually search for you again. Just to make sure I get this play off. I have my rock, my rise. So uh, not, it's not PK fire, it's pure Nordics right now. Like, there's not a single PK fire base play right now. So, if I just happen to eat a fat dick because I'm playing pure Nordics, especially against Blue Eyes. Like I said, I faced it once and I got destroyed. So, Floodblade's nice. So, go ahead and turn you to attack. Yes, uh, I mean you, then I can go ahead and rise, actually I could I could just go into Black Rose, and you can't be destroyed by battle, but you can be destroyed by card effect, I might just go ahead and do that, like, just Black Rose, uh, fuck it, just Black Rose, Woke them up, you get nothing, good day sir, uh, I'd love to go ahead and rise. It would be awesome if I could still change my battle position, but I don't think there's anything left. Like, I've literally exhausted, exasperated all of them. Except for this monster. It means there's nothing else to summon with you. Like, I wish I... If I drew into, like, fucking, like, Terror Top, then let's go, you know? Terror Top would be great. <laughs> but, uh, blowing him back with Black Rose, I think that was a pretty decent play. Like, summon Maiden, I guess, to summon Maiden and do all them plays, like... Like, is this really just a blue eyes fusion deck? Like, I'm kind of lost here, but that's what you want to do. Like, even King of the Swamp? Like, okay. It's not what I needed at all. Got another Fog Blade. Uh, like, Nordics. Booty. Ninjas? Ninjas for tag? Like, wow. Like, my tag partner is not going to like me at all. I'm really slow. I'm going to try to control the duel, but it's, it's, it's not going to be a fun time. It really isn't. So that's not cool at all, either. I mean, there's really nothing else for me to summon. Uh, if there survives, and I could probably make it survive by blocking with Fog Blade, then I might be able to bust out Thor, and that'd be cool. Because there's nothing else to summon for my deck except for him, and I already used all three of my uh, North Beast. I have one in my hand and two in the grave, so you won't even get your effect. So my job right now is to hopefully hope that he doesn't bust out Blue Eyes, because I can't target effect monsters like Venus Chain. And uh, bust out my Thor next turn. Just summon him and then activate this. So. You know what? I might just come into a Dante right now. Especially with uh, gloves. And start milling some. Because I, I need to get my PK fire on. I'm going to go ahead and go into Dante. Dante, detach, rock the gloves, mill three. One, two, three. That wasn't a good mill at all. Like, I don't think I milled any Phantom Knights or anything. Terra Top, Twin Twisters, and another rock. Alright, and always use gloves, always put my trap cards in the grave. Like, there's pretty much like Wing, Soar, because those will be my arrival, essentially. Because I could, uh, next turn, I can bust. Well, I need another PK monster, actually. 
Which I'll go ahead, let's go to attack. They go and attack on the set card. It's like what, Shining Angel? Oh, Ancient Stone, that's that's not great. That is not what I want to see at all. That's, that is not the goodness. That's fine. regular blue eyes that's fine I can't do anything on that and, well I could probably I could fog blade my own Dante and then mill for cost I might actually do that actually end up fog blading my own Dante just to make sure I get that additional mill so because I can't fog blade his monster but I can sure fog blade mine negate my effect and then I can't be selected as an attack target I'd be pretty good like I said it depends on what he does it really does but Nordic suck ninjas tags wow uh, Fucking BES. BES. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is that? BE motherfucking S. Uh, that's fine. It does nothing. I don't even. I really, I don't even know why you went into him. I would attack with Blue Eyes first and got rid of the Dante. Alright, time to add ultimate. And I don't even think this guy is a really good Blue Eyes player right now. Like, like, this deck, it's not even that difficult to use, but you're gonna mess it up, so more power to you. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and block that. Can't attack you, but at least I'll negate your effect. Yeah, because it's current dragon's currently face up on the field, which means that the only one's protected is uh, Azure Eyes. So you can still get that. You can't attack, so my Dante will live another day! Yay! More mills! And I might, if I mail a Phantom Eye, I should be able to go ahead and bust it out. I should be able to bust it out. So, I need to know the Phantom Eye, which is not a lot to ask for, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's really not. One, two, three. Yeah, I know the Phantom Eye, so that's good. So, the only thing that sucks is that I can't select them as a tax target, so. Uh, I can use wings. Use both wings, so I'm in back, them both back. Actually, I just need one. I just need one wing. Now I might be able to do a different play with the other one. Yeah, so, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, prepare the, the breaks, I mean, the, the break select for right now. So, I'll use two wings, summon two back, then I'll have this in the graveyard after the monster leaves the field. Yeah. So, go ahead and activate you, come back you. As long as that set card is not anything to fuck me up. Oh, I can only activate one once per turn, only once that turn. The trap cards. Oops. That's fine. So we'll go ahead and use you, send you, then banish you, summon you, and then... Uh, actually, I don't think I have any more uh, Phantom Knights now. That's not good. No, I don't. Oops. Because I had to banish him to summon him. Alright, never mind. Alright, we'll just play Rise and then summon him back. I like this play, but we'll go ahead and do that, so. And we'll go ahead and go into Brick Sword. For now, we'll just clean up. So, Brick Sword can, uh, what? This monster's gonna lead the field if I target him and target himself. But then this card is just unaffected by other card effects. I could run him over because now his attack drop is totally fine as well. Uh. So, I kinda wanted to do that play, but I didn't mill the right cards, so. That's fine, I guess. I can go into uh, Dark Rebellion or Master Key Beetle. Master Key Beetle wouldn't be terrible. But I'm not sure if I want to target yourself. You know, I think I just want to go ahead and for now just uh, crack the Fog Blade and crack your alternate. And you go to attack. Uh, is there anything else that I want to do this turn? You can revive, but I think I just might maybe get another search, get another fog blade. No, I already have a fog blade. I don't know. I'll keep you in there for right now. Because I want to get you banished. Uh, just go into battle phase and attack, attack. Uh, what else? What else? BES? Like, what is BES? Like, I'll probably, just to keep it strong and competitive, just throw the Monarch Engine with BES like I did with Earthbound since they're tribute based monsters. Like, instead of just use the, 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 the engine. Just use as the Monarchs as an engine at this point, you know? Uh, might as well. So we'll see that on Wednesday. Uh, then tag with Dragoon Bees. I mean, at least I can make Crystal Math. I mean, I totally don't mind doing that. Yeah. 
So that's fine. Okay. Leave the deck banish on my set cards. I'll go ahead and negate you once again with Fog Blade. I don't want you popping any of my set cards. I mean, banishing any of my set cards. You want to pop my set cards? Sure. Banish? No. So that's fine. And so we might be able to bust them out next turn. All we need to do is just have two Phantom Knights in the graveyard. We have plenty of the traps. So we just have two Phantom Knights in the graveyard, bust them out, and uh, there's my uh, monster. I guess I'm assuming you're gonna activate your fat, or you're just gonna attack. If you activate your fat, you can't attack, so. Go ahead and exit those two into Heliopolis, that's fine. Should be some monsters, I do not care. That is fine. How many monsters are you attributing? Two, three, one? I really don't care. Heliopolis, that's not even a threat. Like, <laughs> should be blue eyes. Uh, what? My perk select. That's fine. <laughs> like that. That's totally fine. Uh, you can have that. That's what I'm mad at. No, I don't take a die. I don't care about that either. No. Ah, twin twister. I don't need that. So, what do I got in here? I don't think I have anything really. Yeah, I'm recording. No, I don't have enough Phantom Knights. Like, wow. That sucks. Like, mm -mm 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 -mm. I, don't have, I don't have enough Phantom Knights. Like, where are all my Phantom Knights? No way to be found. Like, okay. Alright. Need more mill with Dante. Need more sending. Need Phantom Knights. Like, I didn't get any Phantom Knights. So many of my, just my other shit that's not Phantom Knights. Need a Terra Top. Terra Top would be great too. Like, there's so many cards I could get right now that would be totally fine. Wow, you're not gonna attack because you're. I guess you're scared. Like, at least I drew into a three, so I can go ahead and summon you back, and then summon you, and then go into a Dante. So, so we'll go ahead and activate you, banish you, summon you. Like, wow, you didn't attack. Are you really that afraid of my background? That's really nothing. Go into a second Dante. I might be able to do, pull off a play right now. I already normal summoned out. So. All I need is just two cards. Like, literally, all I need is two cards. So, I might go on the offensive with Dante. Just two Phantom Knights. That's all I'm asking for. One Phantom Knight, actually, because I'm about to mill right now. But did I mill a Phantom Knight? I don't think I did. One. One. Awesome. Alright, that's cool. So, I guess I can just go ahead and play sword and attack over him for now. <laughs> just one. And damage calc. I'll go ahead and play sword on myself. Go to 33, attack over your Heliopolis. Go to defense. And uh, for now, that's totally fine. What else? Uh, Zushin. Zushin? Zushin? I said, it's gonna be cute. I, I, I really hope that I'll be able to uh, bust it out, but. I guess that's fine. Like, I, I think he's already been targeted, so I think even if I activate Twin Twister, I haven't seen Wonder One with Maiden in a cool minute. Like, no one really does that anymore. <laughs> Synchro 2 can't get over me anyway, so that's fine. Spirit, that's fine. We both have 25, so. <laughs> nope. Ah, Burial. Burial's power. I'm surprised I haven't milled that. Is it cards or monsters? Monsters. Okay. So, so go ahead and. Like I said, I want to bust him out. I, I might be able to. I just need to get. Another Phantom Knight in the graveyard. I should be able to bust him out. And if I bust him out, then that's just win, right? It's just win. I'm just, just sitting here just pondering why you guys did this to me and made me want to fucking play fucking Nordics. Like. So 
So I can't summon ten and summon two monsters at the same time, which is fine. So Dante go up and attack. Uh, we will proceed to what do we have? We have plenty of cards, so we'll go ahead and banish this, summon that. Wow, so I'm still not I'm like where are my gloves? Where's all my shit? Like no one to be found. Like alright. You go ahead and activate uh, another. Go ahead and summon you again, and we should be able to bust out Thor right now. Like, ooh, that'd be power. Just run over that blue eye spirit. Like, I don't give a shit about him or who you summon or the tagging out. I don't care. So the biggest threat would be the set card. So, go ahead and normal summon this, and I believe it is time. It's time to actually summon Thor, people. Thor. Ah! Once per turn, I can negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field. No, that's not necessary. Your effects aren't that good, are they? Like, not really. At least I'll keep on floating. <laughs> hella monsters, hella traps. Like, we still got we still got traps. Like, we're running like nine fucking traps. Like, that's power. And run over your blue eyes. Spirit dragon. I don't believe you play gospel this duel. Okay, so you're gonna tag out, which is fine, because I can just kill your monster that you summon anyway. You can still be destroyed by battle, so. So, if we gotta do freaking PK Nordic for the entire duration of the month because you guys decided to put up vote for shitty ass decks, then just fuck me, right? I forgot you could summon that. That sucks. That sucks. I kind of, I, to I totally forgot. I thought you were just gonna go into your blue eyes, but nope. Nope, I forgot you could go into that. That sucks. How many monsters I got banished? One, two, three, four. And go ahead and return them. Do I still have a fog blade left? One, two, nope, I am completely out of fog blades. Alright. So we'll return one, two, three. Completely out of fucking uh Fog blades, that sucks. <laughs> I mean it's great for revival, but outside of that, it's not that's, that's not good. Now I guess I'll just hold off and go off next turn. Or we going like a Levier and Brick Sword and all them great shenanigan cards. And I'll probably proceed to twin twist to you, even though I don't think your set cards a threat at this point. Yeah, I haven't seen fucking uh, cloak all fucking duel. Like, it's terrible. Yep. So, proceed to go ahead and activate one of my many trap cards for my many revival. Go ahead and go into a brick sword. Actually, I should have went into a levier, but it's fine. So it wasn't a threat before, so. Poppy monster shouldn't be a threat now. Let me guess. Oh, just King of the Swamp. Like, all right. Uh, that's three thousand. Can I go for game? Maybe. Nah, I don't think so. Wait, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Cause I can just use this. Summon back this. I, I summoned Thor. You, you guys saw me summon Thor. Now, did I get any use out of it? No, oh, no. Nah, it, it, it got bounced. <laughs> but I, I summoned Thor. And uh, click PK Fire wins because the second is so strong. You won eventually. So, like I said, I'm just I'm just wondering why would you do this to me? Like I want I want to. I feel like decks on daily duels should be good because decks on daily duels are good and competitive. And I win, I'm in a good mood. If I don't win, then of course you know I would probably be in a shitty mood. And I'm playing a shitty deck and it's running shittily. You know I'm getting my ass beat. Then I'm gonna be in a shitty mood, which isn't entertaining for you. Like I'm not sure if you guys are just trolling or what because. I mean, some decks, uh, some of these decks, you'd just be shaking your head like, no, no, no. Why would I vote for that? And if you didn't vote, then you're also to blame. But if you vote and you're just trolling, then you're the blame too. Like, Nordics, you really thought that Nordics would be entertaining, that I was going to be whooping some ass and presenting entertaining duels to you? Like, I feel like I, maybe I give you guys too much power on the channel. And I don't like that. I don't like that, that I, I give you guys an inch, you guys fucking take a mile with that shit. It pisses me off. It really does. That you guys can't give me anything decent and you guys find it trolling. Like, some of you guys, decks you suggest are ass, and then you guys vote for decks that are ass. It's like, it's like, wow, thank you, Nordics. 
So, if I gotta stick with PK Nordics, I mean, fuck it. If Thor is the only one I can summon, I summoned a Nordic. There's Nordic cards in here. So, fuck it. So, like I said, the the original deck, the link will be in the description to the guy's uh, video. You can check his out. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna give credit to credit what's due. I didn't come up with PK Nordics at all. He did. And, or whoever he got it from, but what, that's the original video I saw. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna cite my sort, my sources. Anyway, I'm gonna get to my uh, talking about Utah, but I just wanted to address that. Why would you guys do this to me? And I don't know, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do deck suggestions anymore. I'm probably just gonna be like, I'll probably still do polls, and I'll probably just put up the decks. I'll probably be like, these are decks that I don't mind playing on daily duels, but because when I suggest decks combined with you guys voting, you guys just have too much power, and shit turns shit turns into this, where I'm ending up playing fucking Nordics and Ninjas and fucking BES and shit for daily duels, so, for the next month. So entertaining, so, so interesting to watch, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, I guess. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be playing Ninjas. Hopefully my tag partner won't get fucked over too much, and I'll be able to do something. Well, uh, I'll give you guys a deck profile for uh, Dark Condition. So, uh, I'll begin to uh, tell him uh, how my uh, trip was for Utah. Uh, Ryan will be from Team Ninja will be joining me, so he went on the trip, so we can talk about it. And then, of course, I'll tell you guys uh, my term results and, the, and give you guys the deck profile uh, coming up soon, probably on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.